Hey King Crew, welcome back to another vloggy vlog, y'all. Today is February. No, it is not February. It is January. <laughs> January 6th. Uh, today is Friday. Um, I'm waiting for our uh, grocery, our luxury gro grocery delivery. Um, Y'all know how I feel about grocery deliveries. Um, I ordered some grocery last night around like it was like 12 o'clock in the morning um so um happy new year here's grandma gladys say hi grim <laughs> y'all haven't seen us since uh the end of december it, it hasn't been that long okay it hasn't been that long um my new year my new year um it took a good start excuse me i'm talking to the people y'all know i'm not an overshare but i do want to say this i had to set boundaries with someone who thought they was gonna you know come back in my life after almost a year of me taking my piece back and I had to set boundaries again uh, because I am heavy on my piece um, I will do anything for uh, my piece and I will not allow anybody to come and take my piece away. Y'all know I've shared with y'all before um, how much I value my piece and that I live a peaceful life. And um, anybody who does not supply that for me, they're not allowed. So I wanna encourage y'all <laughs> to set boundaries with people. This is a new year. Your peace matters and your well being matters and um, your emotions matter, your feelings matter. Um, you are worthy of peace. Keep your peace by all means. Um, but yeah, I made a grocery delivery. They should be arriving really soon. And then I'm going to um, go to Whole Foods because I'm looking for some croissant bread because I saw this recipe on TikTok about uh, a grilled cheese croissant. I ordered the rest of the things when I um, made the order last night. I just need that bread because they said the bread, they could only find it at Whole Foods. Thankfully, we have Whole Foods. They have, it's at Whole Foods or Whole Foods or Kroger's. And we don't have a Kroger's. I wish we had a Kroger's because I, I see people get some really good deals there. But I'm going to go to Whole Foods and then I'm going to go to the bookstore. Y'all, I started back, uh, not I started back reading because I never really stopped. But I started a new book. Let me show you guys. And I love it so much. It talks about your trusting your intuition and you know like uh, building it up and um, synchronicities and coincidences and just like different insights. It's right here. This is a fiction novel, um, the Celestine. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think I've heard people pronounce it so many different ways, but the Celestine Celestine prophecy. Um, this book was written in the 1900s, so it's a pretty old book but um so far i'm loving it like when i say this book is so good like it takes your mind you'd be like i'm when i started reading it um when I, once i started reading it i immediately it immediately just like kind of like opened up my eyes to some things so it talks about i think it talks about nine different insights i'm only on the fourth one but because it's written like a fiction novel it just it takes time to get through uh all of the insights but this book is so good as you can see i've been using my little uh markers here i got it off of amazon and i ordered the book i'm going to get today today is called i'm a fan and i should have ordered it but y'all know i like to <laughs> do a little uh snooping lollygagging around stores sometimes so um it said that the book was there so we'll see but i ordered the last book to this trilogy that i've been talking about that i was talking about last year for a while um so i ordered the last one from amazon as well i wasn't like in a rush because i mean i had it in my cart but i was still reading other books and i have other books that i haven't even picked up but it's fine, they're in my TBR. That means to be read and they'll get read. Yes, I just gave you two treats. What do you want from me? I think our groceries are at the door. Um, so this was the last one that I had to buy for the trilogy. And now I've already read one. I just need to read the other two. So 
I got that and then I'm going back to the bookstore today to get another book and I might get two. Come on, grab. Cry, baby, cry. Cry, baby, cry. He hears somebody at the door and he's just trying to be nosy. I curled my hair because today, actually, I'm supposed to be doing my six week uh, retie, but I decided that I wanna try for eight weeks. The only way that I could do that, I feel, is if I would put these curls in my hair because I won't have to do too much. And I just did like a mohawk. I wanted to go for a curly fro, but once I let the, the perm wise out, it, it just, it wasn't looking right. So we got a curly mohawk instead <laughs> because the curly fro was trying to play me. There's no grocery here yet. As soon as the grocery comes, I'm going to give you guys a little grocery haul and then we're gonna leave to get out the house. I've actually been in the house all week. Today is Friday and y'all know, y'all know me. I'm a homebody, I like to chill. I just, I do me, I read my books, I spend time with myself. I'm good, so. <laughs> There's our grocery, y'all. I was gonna go to the movies to see um, Color Purple, but our cousin told us that they went to go see it and she gave it about a six. I wasn't aware that it's actually a musical, so I don't know how I feel about that, but I was gonna go, she said if I do go, just go to a matinee because it really wasn't worth it. Hello. Hello. This is your bread in your house. Oh, thank you. Have a good day. for a good luxury grocery delivery. So let's do a grocery haul. So I got some brown eggs, a loaf of bread. Uh, Brian brought a loaf of bread home the other day. It's Hawaiian time. And I was like, mmm, this is a good food. So got another one. All right, that's better position. I have some butter, uh, some steamable um, sweet potatoes. Y'all, I love sweet potatoes. I plan on roasting these. Uh, these are gourmet potatoes. Ooh. Sweet onions. The only thing they did not have that I wanted was some fresh uh, green beans, some panini pasta, rotini pasta, and bow tie pasta. Mozzarella cheese, mild cheddar cheese, sliced American cheese, <laughs> Parmesan cheese. Two sugar cookie doughs. These will buy one, get one free. Chive and onion cream cheese spread. This is for a recipe. Tuna, chicken broth. I should've got more chicken broth because everything that I would uh, start off in water, like pasta, I started using broth instead. It really gives the food more flavor. So that's something new that I've been doing. As far as I meet, I grabbed, well I didn't technically grab it, but we got some swai fish. Um, some large kilt in the vein shrimp. I want to get some fresh shrimp, but for right now, we have this. It's two bags. Wurtz crackers for a snack, maybe with my um, tuna. Velveeta, oh wow. Wow, I thought this was the big one. This is not the big one, but some Velveeta cheese. I need another one of these. Probably. Jasmine rice. Heavy whipping cream or hazelnut creamer. These were buy one, get one free of just jelly. I do still enjoy a nice peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Some Rotel, this is for a recipe. Uh, parsley flakes and complete seasoning. Barbecue sauce and vegetable oil. Some Tocitos chips, Brian loves these with some salsa. <laughs> Grab his chips and salsa and find a movie and have a time of his life. I love to see it. Um, golden Oreo cookies. These will buy one get one free as well. Some crab cakes. Impossible meat, which I really want to stop buying impossible meat, but we love spaghetti and this is the only meat that I use to make spaghetti. So, I just don't know what to do because I'm starting not to trust that kind of meat at all. I'm starting not to trust nothing, actually. So, 
Got some spinach, salad blend, Brian's salsa. I, he really likes this Willie's salsa. Um, I have vegetables already. I have, we still have other grocery items, but, and we already purchased our drinks as well. This was $200 worth from Publix. What y'all think? Was that good? I feel like I could have gotten more at Aldi. Oh well. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm done putting up the groceries and I was about to leave the house, but I felt like I needed to sit down and talk to y'all a little bit more about what I was talking about previously. I just wanted to encourage y'all um, to surround yourself with people who love you, who you know have been there for you. Be so intentional about who you hang around, what kind of company you keep. Be aware of how you feel when you're around certain people. Become, just become more aware and be more watchful because unfortunately some people don't have good intentions at all. So there's 98% of women that watch me, 98.6% to be exact, of women that watch me. And um, if I can be y'all's reminder to live your life, to uh, set boundaries, to uh, put you first, your peace, your self care, everything that concerns you to put that first um besides of course outside of other responsibilities but y'all know what i mean really be intentional about your overall well-being i had so many wins last year as far as my uh mental health uh my growth my overall growth i was able to let go of some people and forgive them and this year like immediately <laughs> like right at the tip of 2024 here i am although i had to set a boundary it was still a win for me because um i'm already winning i have so much more that i want to say but i think that was enough just take your power back you deserve that i have gained another level of confidence that i still haven't even been able to comprehend but i'm at the point where um I don't care about what anybody has to say. Uh, I don't care about how anybody, <laughs> I don't care about how anybody feels about me. Um, I have dimmed my light and within the past year, I realized that that wasn't good for me or the people that I'm supposed to reach. I know who I am. Get it to the bookstore y'all. I didn't realize how far this was. Well, it's 20 minutes away. Um, this is Barnes and Nobles. I was thinking about Books a Million because they're not too far from us. Let's go in, see what I can find. I'm so excited. <laughs> Sheena Patel. I might have a copy. Okay. Let's see. By Brene Brown. Yes. another book that I wanted to get the gifts of imperfection so got one book at least let's see looking for a croissant croissant toast croissant bread um, I'm not seeing it I found it. Eight ninety nine. <laughs> this is all I came here for. Some croissant toast. This lady in the store complimented me on my hair, and she could not stop looking at my hair, y'all. She made me feel so good. She asked me if I was a um, hairstylist. I said no. 
Sorry, I'm not a hairstylist. I just, I do love these. I'm not a pro at any of them. I just do my best and roll with it. She kept turning around like, I just love your hair. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go to Aldi now because I want to see what they have and I also want to get some fresh fruit and um, The green beans that I didn't get well, I ordered them, but they didn't have the green beans at public So I would rather pick my fruit out um, <laughs> Because yeah, I need to make sure that it's fresh. I could have gotten everything in here, but I just came in first. I want to go to Aldi to see what they have other than grocery. Yeah, well, there's not really much here. <laughs> I have a lot of workout stuff up here. Stretch and tone bar, multi-use workout bar. Not much massage roller, waist trainers, tummy trimmers. This illuminating pouch. I have a few toys down here. It's not much. I was really looking for some cookware. Oh, y'all, I think we have to uh, visit another time. <laughs> we have a toilet. We have toilet brushes, bathroom sink sets. These look like good quality. We have mats down here. Absorbent mat. Floating shelves. I think they're clear. Yeah, they are clear. Oh. Retractable wall hooks, diffusers, candles. Ooh, that smells good. Sea salt and driftwood. I smell this one. This smells good too. Sea kelp and mint. Once this candle is finished, you can use this. It's really nice. Anyway, <laughs> humidifiers, toothbrushes, water bottles. Ooh, mug. This is big. Four ninety nine. I don't see much as I did the last time. No, no. Um. No dishware. These are nice. Six ninety nine. Keep growing. Let's go. This is what I got. <laughs> Ryan and I are about to leave the house. We're gonna be spending our Friday evening out of the house. We're going to a poetry event, and I want to show you guys my outfit of the night. I don't do too much, but I do just enough, okay? So I have all this sweater. This sweater is from Old Navy. You guys were with me when I tried this on. Um, and I have on a belt, y'all. This belt is from H&M. These full leather pants are from H&M. And then I have on these boots. These are from Forever 21. And I purchased them like last year, y'all. And I'm just now wearing them. I'm gonna put on this bracelet from Amazon. I have on this necklace from Amazon. This one is from Amazon too. My earrings, very cute and dainty from Amazon. And then these pearl earrings, I don't know where these are from. I'm very comfortable. Yes, I feel like my hair goes perfectly with what I have on for some reason. But Brian's ready and we're gonna go. If I record anything, it'll be on my phone because I put my wide lens on here and my camera is heavier. Um, yeah, I'll be recording on my phone. Oh, my bag. I'm gonna be wearing this bag from Simbono. Very cute. Yeah, small. Mm hmm.
body and spirit don't get from around me because I ain't got time for that type mm. of energy. You see, the chain around my neck is heavy, but I need for it to be lighter. That's the reason why I'm working towards matching Mark Cuban links for the for myself and the three I take care of. And I don't need no six and carat method to press towards my flight because I got 14, 18, and 24 carat gold bars in my sights and in my views. Sitting on landmark buildings with Drake conversion as the skyline changes hue, y'all. The creator came to give us life so that we can have it more abundantly. So I'm digging until I reach my goal and I'm running until I reach the mark with a hustle that's non-stop. So call me prolific and don't try to nip what I see. Continuously digging until I make perfect things. Things that I told y'all I am the current and the tide with a bulldozer that's in overdrive because I'm a gold digger and I'm a gold digger from the bottom of my soul. This here vision of mine wasn't chose, it was given. To become fulfilled, first, there's a void to fill, that you avoid to fill, that can either destroy or build, so wait and hold still, rather than to carry the weight and have to hold still, because to bear arms, believe your heart and your sleeve concealed is to live by the sword until it's the hill you die on with nothing left to shield, relinquishing the ability to recover and heal. May you rest in peace. Thank you. We had a great time. Um, it's, what time is it? It's like 11 something. 11.22. And it started at 7.30, y'all. So we've been there for quite some time. But it was fun. The only thing I did not like is like them picking people out of the crowd. Because y'all know. About I'm an introvert, okay? I will talk in front of a crowd, but don't pick, just don't pick me, okay? <laughs> just don't pick me. Oh, my, my person is there. I did ace my uh, public speaking class at college. So I can speak in front of people. Oh, so I'll be like, hey, 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 everybody listen. Hush up. Little Meek got something to say. <laughs> and don't miss it because she don't repeat herself. And it just might change your life. <laughs> anyway, we had a great time. And... Um, I'm tired. I was starting to yawn. Uh-uh, get back in there. I told you to come out here. You know you're not allowed in, in the garage. We had some food while we were there too. It was like a lounge and they served food and drinks. I had a little drinky drink. Y'all saw my little drinky drink. What? You got a potty? It's raining out there. You're not gonna wanna go out there. Can you let him out, please? Patty cake, patty cake, patty cake, patty cake. <laughs> Nothing on my hands. A little greedy. A little greedy, greedy.